of the Tropical Farming Systems Master's Program here at the Czech University of Life Sciences. So a little bit about our faculty. Our faculty, the Tropical Agri, uh, the Tropical Agri Sciences, is um, part of the Czech University of Life Sciences. It was established officially in 2013 after it transformed from being the Institute of Tropics and Subtropics. Uh, we focus on agriculture, rural development, um, sustainable management of natural resources in the tropics and subtropics. So our faculty has really cool features in general that as a student, you get to also enjoy. We have a new fantastic building um, with modern classrooms, modern equipment. We also have amazing labs, which you could also use uh, depending on the research that you're going to be doing. We have an amazing botanical garden and we also have um, some facilities like the common eland farm, the Lani farm, where we have the common eland and we also have monocles there. So a little bit about the Tropical Farming Systems Master's Program. It is two years long. Um, once you complete it, you will be awarded with the engineer degree. The equivalent is a Master's of Science. Um, the program is completely in English. You, so your teachers will speak English. Um, the students will speak English as well. And the tuition fee is just 40,000 Czech crowns. This program is extremely flexible and it is recommended that while you're working on this, uh, this master's program, you also will have the ability to work. Um, so we have various fields of studies um, that you will be able to also take part in. Um, we have, for example, crop, crop production with an emphasis on long-term sustainability, sustainable management of natural resources, sustainable production and management um, of production of domestic animals, just as an example. So uh, because this program is interdisciplinary, it means that you will really have the opportunity and the possibilities of really looking at different fields and then choosing what you would like to specialize in or become an expert in. Examples would be, for example, that you could become an expert in nutrition and feeding of livestock and wild animals, or you can focus on plant production and its uses um, as well as important types of crops and their production systems, um, including both the traditional and the modern uses. Additionally, uh, an example would be, for example, uh, if you're interested in agricultural economics, you can become an expert in institutional and behavioral economics, um, as well as um, because of all of these different uh, opportunities that you have in your field of studies and that it is interdisciplinary. That means that our study plan is also set up in that way. So here you can actually see an example of the classes that you would be taking on your first semester, which include animal production in the tropics, tropical crop production, um, as well as you have the opportunity for taking optional courses that will slowly basically shape your area of expertise. Um, you can also see here that it's kind of like becoming a bit more flexible once you enter your second semester. And you can also start to see that there is a big emphasis on research as well as internship opportunities. Um, our faculty is really big on, on research in general. So um, already starting your second semester, you would choose a supervisor. You would start to think of like what exactly you would like to focus in, what are you interested in, and then you will be going on from there. Your third semester, you'll still be taking a couple more classes, also in your fourth semester, but your fourth semester really is where you kind of will culminate with your master's thesis research. So once your master thesis research is submitted, the last part of your master's program in order to complete it is to take part in the master's defense and to also take part in your state examination. Now for study and research, um, you will have 
an opportunity to go abroad if you wish to do so for your data collection, depending on your um, your thesis, the research that you're doing. For example, if you do research and, for example, underutilized plants in Peru, then you would have perhaps the opportunity to travel to Peru to complete your data collection. Um, our faculty is also really big in summer schools. Our university in general takes part in different prestigious um, networks that will allow you to do summer schools in other universities in Europe, but also the faculty organizes it its own summer schools, for example, in Thailand, in India. And so you will also be able to take part of that. And then last but not least, we have the Erasmus Exchange Program, which is very popular. And it gives you the opportunity to basically create connections in other countries in other European universities and take classes there as well. Now, if I've somehow managed to convince you that you should enroll in this program. You should come here. The admissions procedure is actually quite easy. You just register um, online. You log into a university system. You create your application, pay for it. It's only 20 euros. And then you will have the opportunity to apply until the 31st of March, 2021. Should you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to our admissions office. For any updates, you can always check out our webpage. And if you really have any other additional questions that you did not find the answers to, you can also call. Now, the last bit, if you really want to know what it's like to be a student here, um, and if you want to know what our alumni are doing after they finish their studies, please follow all of our platforms so that you have the opportunity to connect. And we really hope to see you on campus.